Today I'm going to break down what it is like to work from home. So as you guys know, I own a digital marketing agency and partner with companies across the nation to help them drive results in their business. Now because of that, I can work from anywhere in the world with my phone and my laptop. So I currently work in my childhood home with my family in my bedroom here because I really enjoy working from this workstation here and uh, it just makes sense for me to still be here right now. Now with that I get all of the pros and all of the cons from working from home. So I know some of you guys might be thinking that working from home is the greatest thing ever and uh, you want to do that too. Now in many cases it is very very great. I love just being able to come into my bedroom and sit at my desk and, and get my work done or just take my laptop outside and just have that extra freedom but it does come with some disadvantages. So last summer I worked a full-time job with GE Aviation and every single day I had to drive like 45 minutes away, sit in an office, sit at my desk all day and work. Now of course that structure is very very different than what I'm doing now with that 9 to 5 being at your desk having to get work done. The biggest thing with working at home is it's super super easy to be distracted. So I wake up in the morning, I go work out, I, I make my breakfast, I start to read, I do what I, whatever I'm doing in my morning routine and then at any point throughout the day and my family could want to go get lunch or watch something on TV, show me a quick video, um, go swim at a pool, and then later in the evening maybe go to like a family dinner, go uh, visit some friends, whatever it may be. There's always extra distractions when you're here at home, especially with your family, because they are doing a lot of other things too. And oftentimes that, of course, pulls me into it as well. Now, of course, that's not necessarily a bad thing to do those types of things, but it becomes a little bit difficult when those things take you away from your work that you need to get done. Now this hasn't been an issue to the point where I'm not getting my important stuff done, but it really throws off your whole routine throughout the day and makes you set things back and just not be on that set schedule that I really like to be on. So with that, it's very important to have that set schedule and know when things need to get done and then not make decisions that interfere with that. And it's really difficult to say, no, I don't want to go to lunch, I don't want to go boating today, uh, whatever it might be when you have these opportunities at home, but it's important to stick to that because that's how you stay on task. Another difficulty is there's other responsibilities that get thrown on you sometimes when you're at home, like uh, cutting the grass and doing the laundry, the dishes, whatever it may be, those types of chores, things like that. But when you're at an office all day, you know, you're not being asked to do those types of things, and that's just another thing that pulls you away from your work. So you're just in a different environment where as being in an office environment, you're sort of, you gotta stay focused. You can't just get on your phone or watch Netflix in the middle of the day, and that's not the same here. So the friction to actually do something other than working is much, much lower, and there's also more distractions and more opportunities to do those things. So with those two elements combined, it can be really, really difficult. At the same time, I save tons of time having to drive every morning, uh, the pain of going back and forth between two different locations, having different computers, I use all these different things. Just being here, having my setup every single day, and having that f the, the just simple convenience of working from home is just awesome. So if you're working from home and you're struggling to stay on task and get certain things done, I recommend two main things. One, get a whiteboard. I use this whiteboard right here on my wall every single day to write out my tasks and make sure I get things done. And second, use Google Calendar to do the same thing, to schedule out your meetings, your work blocks, and everything you need to do, and stick by those two things, and don't do anything outside of those constraints. So you need to give yourself constraints and stay within them, and really treat it as a work environment instead of just your house. You know, set those work blocks and say, I'm going to sit here for the next four hours and I'm going to work no matter what, and treat it as if it's an office. So finding the best way to really enjoy all the pros of, of living at home and trying to filter out and remove all of the cons, all those distractions and the things that uh, prohibit you from being the most productive is where you're gonna find that really sweet spot that just makes it you know, super great to work from home. And when I think about it, if I move out and get my own place or my business really starts to grow to the point where I'm able to get an office and um, actually go to work every day, I'm not even sure if I'd be too interested in that because I think the pros of working from home and not having um, an office to go to and then as a business owner to pay um, employees to come into an office and things like that. Working from home is probably always going to be something that I want to do. But with that, that's far down the road. We'll see what happens when we get there. But if you guys have any trouble, any questions about working from home or want to start a business that you can work from home, then drop it down in the comments below. Look me up on Instagram at John underscore Hetrick. DM me there. And I'd be happy to chat with you guys. So that's all I have for you guys here today. I am posting on here every other day, so be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and come back here in a couple days. See you guys. Touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this.